Hello everybody, welcome to this class. In this lesson, we are going to talk about adverbs of time. So what are adverbs of time? Adverbs of time tell us when an action happens or for how long it lasts. They provide more information about the timing or duration of an action in a sentence. Let's have a look at some examples. 1. They will leave soon. Soon is the adverb of time, which tells us when the action leave happens. 2. We often visit grandma. Often is the adverb of time, which explains to us when the action visit happens. We are now going to talk about the rules for using adverbs of time. And before I talk about the rules, if this is your first time to this channel, please join the family of Speak English with Joe by subscribing and click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload videos like this, you will get notified. So I will wait for five seconds for you to subscribe. Thanks for subscribing. Let's talk about the rules for using adverbs of time. Rule number one, placement in a sentence. Adverbs of time usually come at the beginning or the end of a sentence but they can also be placed before or after the main verb. Let's see some examples. 1. Yesterday, she went to the park. Yesterday is the adverb of time, which comes at the beginning of the sentence and also before the main verb went two she went to the park yesterday so yesterday is the adverb of time which comes at the end of the sentence and also after the main verb went rule number two Use with present tense verbs. Adverbs of time can be used with present tense verbs to indicate habitual actions or routines. Let's have a look at some examples. 1. She often reads before bed. This is a habit or a routine that she often does. Often is the adverb of time, which comes before the verb reads in the present tense. 2. They sometimes go to the movies on weekends. This is also a habit or a routine they sometimes do. Sometimes is the adverb of time, which comes before the verb go, which is in the present tense. Rule number three, use with past tense verbs. Adverbs of time 
are commonly used with past tense verbs to indicate when an action happened. Let's see some examples. 1. He finished his homework yesterday. Yesterday is the adverb of time, which indicates when the action finished his homework took place. And that is the day before today. 2. We visited the museum last summer. Last is the adverb of time, which explains when the action visited the museum took place. And that is last summer. Rule number four. Use with future tense verbs. Adverbs of time can also be used with future tense verbs to indicate when an action will happen. Let's have a look at some examples. 1. We will meet tomorrow. Tomorrow is the adverb of time, which indicates when the action meet will happen. And that is the day following the current one. 2. They are going camping next weekend. Next is the adverb of time, which indicates when the action going camping will happen. And that is the weekend following the current one. Rule number five. Specific time versus duration. Adverbs of time can refer to a specific point in time or a duration of time. Let's have a look at some examples. 1. She arrived at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock indicates the specific point in time that she arrived. 2. They stayed there all day. All day refers to the duration of time that they stayed there. Rule number six. Avoid redundancy. Avoid using unnecessary adverbs of time that repeats information already provided in the sentence. Let's have a look at some examples. 1. They planned to meet up again next week in the future. Next week implies a future time frame. So add in the future again makes the sentence redundant. So you can choose to say they planned to meet up again next week or they planned to meet up again in the future. 2. He completed the task quickly in a short amount of time. Quickly and short amount of time conveys the same meaning. This makes the sentence redundant. So we can choose to say he completed the task quickly or 
he completed the task in a short amount of time. At this point, I would like you to test your understanding on adverbs of time with this simple quiz. Quiz number one. Which word in the sentence is an adverb of time? In quote, yesterday, Sarah went to the park. So A, B, and C. Which word in the sentence is an adverb of time? Two, what adverb of time is used to describe an action happening in the morning? A, B, and C, which is correct. Three, which sentence uses an adverb of time correctly? So A, B, and C. Please try it and put your answers in the comment section. If this is your first time to this channel, please subscribe and click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload videos like this, you will get notified. And don't forget to like. Please like, comment, and share the video. Thanks so much for watching and see you again in the next video. Goodbye.